Assalamualaikum Haure Jumpa lagi sama aku Macan Malva Cantik Presenter Mugarung Aku sekarang lebih kelihatan cantik nggak? Yo, ilah pastinya Presenter Mugarung Nah, buat kamu nih Yang pengen sekolah di Mugarung Cepetan daftar Kenapa sih kok harus cepet-cepet? Ya iyalah Karena di bulan Agustus sampai November Ada diskon 4 juta rupiah Emang banyak ya 4 juta rupiah itu? Loh, loh, loh Yo, apa re? Yo, akeh lah Petang juta eh Iso kayak tuku HP kayak HP ku Loh Makanya cepetan daftar Satset, what what, ojo rewel Aku macan, prisan termugaru Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Bye bye Mel, kamu ngapain Mel? Hehe, lagi ngelain mugaru pak Kamu pengen dapat nilai berapa? Seratus pak Oke okay. Long time ago In one place The market of Madinah Al Munawara. There was a blind Jewish beggar who was always begging. Every time someone passed in front of him, the beggar would say bad things about the figure of Prophet Muhammad. From day to day, the beggar repeat the same praise so that everyone will be wary of Muhammad, who according to the beggar was a bad influence. The Prophet Muhammad, who knew what the beggar was doing, was not angry or upset. Instead, he gave the beggar food and fed him lovingly. While giving food to the beggar, the Prophet Muhammad never said anything and simply listened to every word of the beggar. The Prophet Muhammad was also willing to take the time every morning to feed the blind beggar. This habit continued every day, even though the beggar didn't know that the one who fed him was the Prophet Muhammad who he hated. But one day, the Prophet Muhammad unfortunately passed away. Then, Aisha radiallahu anha told Abu Bakar about the Prophet Muhammad's habit of giving food to the beggar. Abu Bakar immediately went to the market and brought the beggar food. When Abu Bakar gave him food, the beggar refused because he knew that the person who usually gave him food this time was not like the usual person. The beggar who refused Abu Bakar food said, the person that usually came to me never <laughs> always fed me and even smoothed the food before giving it to the beggar. When Abu Bakar heard the blind beggar story, he could only cry because he knew how noble Muhammad was to everyone, even to those who had insulted him. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning, everyone. My name is Wanya Ardelia Pramudita. I'm from 7A. Today, I want to tell you a story about Prophet Ibrahim. But first, who is Prophet Ibrahim? So, Prophet Ibrahim is the fourth prophet who lived around Jahiliyyah people who is a worship idol. Let's get into the stories. Ibrahim couldn't understand why people were worshipping these ornaments in the temples. His father explained it that the statues represented God and human who would offer them food and other gift wills. This explanation didn't satisfy Ibrahim. In his heart, he felt that it was wrong. A while later, Ibrahim heard a voice calling him. Ibrahim, Ibrahim. It was none other than his Lord, Allah. And Allah commanded Ibrahim to submit and become a Muslim. Trembling, Ibrahim fell to the ground and prostrated himself before Allah, crying out, I submit to the Lord of the universe. Eventually, he got to his feet and made his way back home. Ibrahim's life was forever transformed. In his heart, he felt a great peace. No power either benefit or harm. Being mere object, Ibrahim now had a brand new mission to call his people to the truth and help them accept Allah as their one true God. First, he get to his father who he loves so dearly. Ibrahim said, 
Oh, Father, why would you worship things which can neither speak or see and cannot avail you with anything? Oh, Father, I have no glitch which you don't have. So follow me. I will bring you to the right path. Angrily, Ibrahim's father rejected Ibrahim's request and told his son to get out of his sight. Ibrahim was giving inspiration to adopt a different approach to change the heart on the eve of a big celebration. He knew that the townsfolk will be leaving the town to share a huge feast. When they had left, Ibrahim went into their temples to carry out a prophet mission to demolish their idols, except the largest idols. So he could explain the error of their ways. When the townspeople returned, they were horrified. They saw their idols lay in ruins. They quickly remembered that Ibrahim had been encouraging them to submit Allah all alone and to submit the monotheistic faith of Ibrahim. They asked him, Are you the one who has done this? Ibrahim said, No, no. This statue, the biggest of them all, has done it. Ask them about it. The townspeople replied, You know they cannot speak. Then, how will you worship things which can't neither speak or see and can't even protect themselves? Have you all lost your minds and minds of his people? They were silent, knowing that Ibrahim had been made a valid point, but their pride won't allow them to reject their idols. They did bring crowd bait Ibrahim to be burned alive. The decision for him to be burned alive was sectioned by Nimrod, the king of Babylon, at his prices. At that moment, Ibrahim was visited by angel Jibril, who said, Do you have something to wish for? Ibrahim replied that his only wish was for Allah to be pleasing with him. He could ever ask for anything, but instead of begging for his life to be saved, he chose the blessing of Allah, and Allah ordered the fire to be cool and peaceful for Ibrahim. And the fire obeyed. Only burnings Ibrahim's change. He walked out of the fire without a bead of sweat coming from his skin or hints of smoke coming from his clothing. The spectators gasped in amazement, crying out, Ibrahim's God has been saving him from the flames. In your search in the crowded. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, thank you very much. And the next performance comes from the winner of Telling Movie. Who is it? Siapa dia? Abi Hisham and Dylan. Coba Abi maju. Mau lupa. Eh Dylan, Dylan dulu, Dylan. Yang juara dua dulu, Dilan sama siapa? Agra. Ayo, Agra, stand up. Ayo, silakan berdiri. Ayo, Agra, hmm. Agra sini, berdiri. Dilan sudah berdiri, Dilan, Dilan, come here. Ayo sini, sebelah sini, sebelah sini. Yo Pak Gacon, Pak. Kamu Kamu kamu. Ayo, perkenalan. Salam sih, Pak. Iya. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone, how are you today? I'm fine too, thank you. We are to Junior High School. Today we will review the film called Laskar Pelangi. But before we starting, allow us to introduce ourselves. I am Mahagra Bisaka Fauzi, I can be called Agra. And I am Adrianda Dilan Usmana, you can call me Dilan. Now, we will review the film called Laskar Pelangi. 
So guys, uh, Laskar Plagi was released in 2008 in Indonesia and the main character in this film are Zulfani Asikal, Ferdian Aslintang, Jutmini as Miss Muslimah and Tora Sudiri as Mr. Mahmud. So my friend, the film tells about the struggle of Ikal and his friends who went to Mamatia Gandung Elementary School which at the time almost closed to the lack of students. But they were saved because of the arrival of 10 students named Harun so they were able to go back to that school again. The origin nickname of Laskar Pelangi was from a rainbow that was visible in the sky. Since then, Mrs. Muslima as their teacher have nicknamed them Laskar Pelangi. Lintang, one of Rainbow Troop member, is the clever one. Her life led in the academic competition because there was a crocodile blocking the way. Thankfully, a crocodile handler came to help Lintang and after that, Lintang take part in the competition. And in the end, they deserve a victory. Uh, there is sad moment too. A few days after the competition, Lintang's father died and Lintang had to drop out from school to take care of his younger siblings. I think that is a dramatic. The film ends with a skin that Adutika meet Lintang. This film is kind of great story that we must see. By the way, Akra, what is the what is the rating of this film? This film got 7.9 out of 10 on IMDb. Do you think this film is totally good, Akra? The advantage of this film is of course very inspiring, especially in terms of the spirit of seeking knowledge. The disadvantage of this, of this film are several differences from Laskar Plangi novel, thereby eliminating some of its value. I agree bro, so if you guys are so curious, just watch it from your movie platform guys like YouTube and Netflix. I really recommend you guys to watch this film. Okay, that is all from us. Thank you. See you later. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, thank you very much. Dilan and Agra. Okay, how did you feel when you get uh, the second winner of ICO Festival? Uh, very happy, very happy. <laughs> Yeah, of course I'm very happy. 